Okay, my name is Johan Fien Marberg. I'm the uh, uh, IT director of the Swedish National Data Service, and uh, um, uh, my use case is about the CV management at the uh, Swedish National Data Service and how we make use of the uh, uh, terms and vocab um, control vocabularies that are already in the the uh, SESTA uh, vocabulary service. Uh, However, we, we haven't connected our, our uh, services at, at SND to, to actually use the, uh, the vocabulary service yet. Um, I have a, a finishing slide on, on our um, requirements on, on such a service. Um, so uh, I'm going to start with uh, saying something about uh, what kind of metadata meta management services we have at s and uh, We have a uh, um, information system called DORIS, Data Organization Information System, that we launched in May this year. Uh, it builds upon uh, a number of uh, uh, different uh, uh, older systems uh, that we um, uh, reorganized and, and uh, rebuilt the whole system into this new Doris system. It's uh, uh, a tool where uh, the S&D staff to, uh, works together with researchers and other uh, uh, persons on at the uh, universities in curating uh, metadata and uh, uh, linking them to data stored at the universities. Uh, we do have a research data catalog. Uh, where the uh, uh, data described in Doris is uh, published for uh, searching. And we do uh, currently do the our uh, control vocabulary management in uh, an old system that we have uh, that we plan to, uh, but we plan to migrate all that functionality either into the uh, SESTA tool or uh, to uh, another in-house develop tool um, starting later this year that uh, investigation on how we uh, going to proceed in that with that uh, project. So uh, included in, uh, in Doris, we do have a number of metadata profiles. Uh, so uh, we are a uh, sort of a generic data service. We don't, uh, um, we don't, we are, we are not a data service for one specific domain, research domain, but for any kind of research domain. So we uh, realized quite uh, soon in, uh, in moving that transition from, from uh, specific domains into a, a generic data service that we need to adapt our metadata um, into uh, uh, into having profiles for various research domains, as uh, various domains have very specific needs and they use uh, different stand metadata standards. They use different ontologies. They do have different needs for for uh, um, control vocabularies. Uh, so. We have a general profile for anyone who, was, who doesn't want to choo choose a specific profile, and we have specific profiles at the moment for social science, language resources, earth and environmental sciences, medical and health sciences, uh, and archaeology and history. And we are uh, investigating uh, at the moment uh, uh, further going into to, uh, some new uh, research domains with profiles, namely uh, computer sciences, uh, natural sciences, and ag ag agricultural science. So uh, we are uh, in the beginning of the process of, of uh, extending our support for, for research domains uh, with these three ones uh, in the near future. Um, when creating a, a, a metadata profile, you have to have some considerations, and, and there are some varieties between 
the different profiles and the needs of the communities. Um, one is, of course, the content. Uh, different domains have different needs of, of metadata fields that they want to describe their data with. Uh, they use the different, different namings for, for perhaps the same field. Uh, so one field might be called something in social sciences and, and something very different in, in uh, uh, language technology. However, the uh, definition of the field might be exactly the same. Uh, so we try to keep all the terms uh, that are displayed to the researchers as uh, closely as possible to what they are familiar with within their domain. And as I said, there are different differences uh, in the use of their uh, control vocabularies. Uh, there might also be differences within the control vocabularies on what terms they want there. Um, uh, for instance, some some of the uh, uh, if we, for instance, take uh, a control vocabulary of uh, data structures uh, or um, then, uh, then uh, uh, language technology might have a very different set of, of uh, terms that they want to describe uh, from what the social sciences uh, have. And of course, they use different ontologies uh, for keywords, for instance, uh, uh, medical uh, resources might want to use the um, mesh ontology while uh, social sciences might use ELST. Um, there are a lot of uh, different ontologies with uh, keywords for for various domains and, and uh, they have very much um, uh, similarities, but there are a lot of very um, uh, different terms, very specific terms for for uh, the research domains that they cover. So, looking at the uh, general uh, metadata profile we have at SND, it's uh, uh, developed together with expertise from different research domains, uh, mainly within Sweden. Um, we took considerations from various uh, other sources, like the FAIR principles. Uh, different metadata standards, as well as ERIC requirements like SESTA and CLARIN. And uh, what they had as requirements from, from their part on what metadata should be included. So the general profile contains uh, roughly 100 fields that are common to all domains. Uh, of those 16 fields are considered the minimal level of metadata. So we can consider them as required. However, we are uh, not, uh, they are not mandatory in the uh, actual software, but they are, they are, uh, you need to have a, a valid reason for not included, including this information. And these 16 fields, you can see, uh, see them on the screen here. It's title and access level, a responsible department or unit, creator, uh, contact person for the, for the data, um, information if it contains personal information or otherwise protected information, the data format or, or uh, slash data structure. You need to have a, a description that is at least 50 characters. Um, you need to have a principal, a language, uh, publication date, subject area, keywords, title of the data set and the data set version. So these are what we consider a, a minimal effort from a researcher to be published at the uh, um, uh, in the SND research data portal. Uh, of these, one of these are of course a, a uh, control vocabulary, and we have also, uh, of course, the keywords uh, and subject area might be considered ontologies. Data format, uh, data structure is a control vocabulary that's actually uh, originates from from the DDI alliance um, and uh, is one of the uh, control vocabularies also in the SESTA uh, vocabulary tool service. I'm sorry. Um, 
so why use control vocabularies of course you want we what we want to do with with the use of control vocabularies to harmonize the metadata that we are we uh, receive from the researchers uh, if we give them the opportunity to have pretext um, metadata for uh, for all the fields then a harmonization of of the metadata for uh use in for instance a search functionality is very difficult uh it's also about metadata quality uh, the uh, um, if we give the researchers options to uh, include a good a good selection of of control vocabularies and ontologies uh, it gives them a little bit more uh, direction in what what we are required and uh, in what they are required to to enter into into one of these uh, metadata fields um, of course there are error requirements as well uh, looking at for instance sesta they are um, um, they want metadata that are uh, according to a, set, a certain standard so there are requirements also from from the uh, ERICs. And of course, uh, as I said, uh, for inclusion in a search functionality, increased findability. Uh, we can uh, build a better search function uh, with filters if the metadata uh, is harmonized using the control vocabularies. So I also have a few screenshots on how we, uh, it looks in, in the Dory system. I will also, uh, as I have a lot of time, uh, do a short demo uh, of the uh, service. Uh, so here in, on screen, you can see a screenshot on how one of the mandatory elements uh, that we use, a, a be it very short control vocabulary, is uh, is displayed so we have actually two here on accessibility level one if it's uh, uh, accessible through the uh, snd or an external actor or and also the level of uh, accessibility and as these are mandatory and it's uh, only one uh, option then it's uh, a radio button uh, we use here uh, another example on a, of a hierarchical structure is the SESTA topical, topic classification, which uh, is a uh, uh, multi-select and uh, in a hierarchical structure. So here you can select either uh, a top level node or uh, a more uh, specific node uh, further down the tree. And we also have for, for ease of use for the users also a uh, filter here where, where they can type. Um, so what control vocabulary is already in uh, the SESTA vocabulary service do we use at SND uh, in the DORA system? You can see them here. So we have the analysis unit, data source type, general data format, mode of collection, response unit, sampling procedure, time method, type of instrument, and assess the topic classification. So these are the, the control vocabularies that we make use of. Uh, and uh, we don't have any, uh, any changes to the content uh, locally at SND from from what's actually at the in the vocabulary service? So we use them uh, straight out of the book, so to say. Another screenshot is uh, an example of of how one of these uh, control vocabularies look in this in the uh, interface, where we have. Uh, the unit of analysis um, where you can se select one or more and um, as a tooltip you also get the uh, description of on term level um, of the actual term
In the search function, we have a number of filters, and these filters are, uh, all of them uh, comes from various control vocabularies at SND. Um, sorry, I lied there. Not all of them come from, from, uh, from uh, control vocabularies, but most of them. Uh, but for instance, collection uh, comes from a, 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 a selection of a collection and not, not a control vocabulary, but uh, the rest of them uh, are uh, actual control vocabularies that we have um, pre-selected terms for. And how these are displayed on landing pages, uh, you can see them here. For instance, subject area is made uh, clickable, so you can uh, click one of them and get back to the search function with everything. Uh, and you get everything, for instance, for the humanities and the arts uh, from the uh, Swedish standard field, fields of research 2011. Uh, so you can see here from what, what um, um from what list the uh, the uh, actual subject comes from you can see also we ha we do have in in uh, the dora system a uh, possibility for users to actually add a term uh, a free text term um so here the user hasn't found sign language in or perhaps been been a little bit more a uh, little bit uh, uh, relaxed in, in uh, or lazy in, in searching in the, actual, in the actual lists of uh, in, the, in the actual ontologies, so they have added uh, sign language as a free text keyword. Otherwise, you would have seen here what what uh, ontology the the actual term comes from. Uh, on the language resor uh, resources, you have, uh, for instance, uh, resource type, foreseen use linguality, uh, modality, etc. All of them are uh, control vocabularies coming from the meta share standard. So lastly, before I go into a uh, live demo, uh, our requirements on, on a, a CV management tool from our point of view uh, would be to have uh, multilingual capabilities, both term and description, as uh, Taina has shown before that the uh, SESTA tool has. Uh, hierarchical structure, of course. Um, we do have uh, a wish for multilingual synonyms. I've added a, a question mark here um, because we don't have uh, those capabilities. We do have those capabilities in our previous a management, the CV management uh, uh, system, but we um, are considering if that's something we want to have going forward as well, because that's, uh, it's a lot of, of uh, effort keeping that uh, updated in the long run. Uh, also for um, for a tool, we would like to be able to specify the domain we want. Uh, uh, so for instance, if we have a, a, a data structure, uh, control vocabularies, vocabulary, and uh, we want to uh, have that limited to, to the terms we want for, for language uh, resources, for instance, we don't so we have a long list of, of possible terms, but for language, re language resources, it might be that only 12 out of 20 terms are, are of interest. So we want to limit that uh, set of terms that's uh, produced for a specific re research domain or, or a metadata profile. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be is something for for a control vocabulary tool or something we need to to uh, solve in our our uh, uh, metadata management system. It's uh, something we need to discuss internally at SND, I think. So, just one last slide with contact details. 
so um, I prepared a uh, uh, data description here in the Dory system. If you want to try it out, you can of course go to sne.gu.se and uh, you can log in and you can try everything uh, by yourself. Don't just don't send it in. You can have a, a, a do everything in the system. You can uh, if you your uh, uh, university account or, or organization account is connected to Edugain, you can log in using that. Or you can create a uh, through a Gmail or something uh, very similar. Uh, uh, okay, so I um, clicked wrong. I'm not starting a new data description. I'm going to start with this uh, demo I prepared for, for uh, this purpose. Uh, so you can see here I have a number of various metadata profiles I can select. Um, some basic information about contact and for a general description I can add uh, for instance a cross-section um, time method uh, and a nested case control study. Um, Unit of analysis, I can choose a few of them and some sampling procedure. It's quite easy to use uh, for the users. Uh, they don't have to uh, do much thinking using these control vocabularies. It's, uh, we do always uh, include an other field. Uh, if there's some, uh, as you can see here by the by the uh, description, use if the sampling procedure is known but not found in the list. And you can, if necessary, describe the, uh, the uh, sampling procedure by text as well. At any time, you can preview uh, the, uh, the uh, data description. So here you can see a an example on the resulting landing page. I'm sorry, I'm gonna save here as well. I'll reload so you can see the uh, additional things I uh, added in uh, the Dora system. Uh, so it's uh, the purpose of the control vocabularies in in here is. Uh, so we don't, for instance, for time method, we don't get a lot of like free text um, uh, entered from, from the researchers so that we can, when building our filters, um, for instance, for data format, data structure, we can actually do filters that are using these control vocabularies um, for um, the filtering. So if I want, uh, for instance here, um, numeric data, I've already added an active filter for social sciences. Um, previously here, I want numeric data. I want them in English. Uh, and I want, for instance, the sampling procedure to be uh, non-probability. So we, with all these filter, filters, I do get seven hits. So all these seven hits uh, fulfill all those uh, requirements. And all of these are, some of these are uh, open data, so you can actually download the data straight away. And if you don't see that download data, you actually have to go in and make a data order. So um, that's it with the live demo. Um, so I think I can continue with questions if we have any. Johan, yes. can I see the, the subject areas and keywords, are they clickable? They are clickable. So what do they do if you click, I mean, in the search interface? 
So if I click on a key, uh, keyword here, for instance, pre-primary schools, so I'll, be, I'll be sent back to the uh, search fun uh, function with that added as a filter. Um, so um, okay, from those so, filters. So the system search is trying to find that particular? Yeah. Okay. I think, uh, for instance, if I select, uh, click on social sciences, I get everything with so social sciences. Yep. So we try to make as much as possible quickable. On the landing pages, so you get, can either drill down or, or in, the, in your search uh, results already, or you can uh, start a new search using that. <clears throat> 